You know, there are uh, some cartoon things that happened in some countries, and this, in my opinion, this prepared some uh, atmosphere that uh, those who want to bring clash or those who want to bring terrorism or for those who want to uh, bring erase uh, communication between West and East, they can use this. Uh, do you think that uh, these kind of uh, with these kind of activities or while they are uh, media or writers or uh, publishers do you think that uh, do they need to be careful uh, while they are writing some things something or publishing uh, things about other cultures well perspective because we are going to show this in television so that's why I gave it uh, it was once believed when we did have in the West a more Christian culture that every right has a responsibility but with the growing secularism you have seen the decoupling of rights and responsibilities so in our secularized radically secularized culture you see that so people think I have right to do this, to say this, to say what I want, to do what I want. But they stop, don't stop to think of the responsibility. And that is again coming from the fact that uh, there is no longer the widespread understanding of human life made in the image of God. Once we lose that idea, there's nothing we can't do murder, insult. If you're strong enough, like Darwinism, get away, the survival of the fittest, uh, you get away with it. Well, that is a great curse. Last, let me see, two questions, or maybe three. The Institute of Interfaith Dialogue has been founded to promote dialogue and cooperation among cultures and beliefs through direct first and hand experience. Do you think it is reaching its goal? Somewhat. I'm not an expert on all of the activities in the United States of the IID. The, my, uh, my personal uh, caveat, if I may use a little Latin, uh, is uh, get off the college campuses because when you're on the college campuses only you're going to find these politicized Christians but if you'll get into the communities of the faithful practicing faithful believers then you're going to meet the real Christians and I'm not saying that these more secularized or liberalized ones are not real Christians that God will look and judge not me thank heaven but uh, I think that that's the danger that IID, because so many of you young fellows are in college, and that's who you meet, is uh, uh, college uh, professors and others such as that. Uh, but they are not typical. Uh, and um, uh, the group I was with in Turkey were wonderful people. I enjoyed them very much. Uh, but um, there were only, of this 18 of us, I would say, there were probably only four or five of us who I would call traditional Christians. That's my impression. Uh, and uh, that it's fine to get to know all these people. You should get to know everybody. So the more we know people, the less we will uh, dislike them or we'll understand them better. Uh, and that's my only point to IID is be careful of being too tied to the academic world because it is... Uh, has a tendency toward that politicization, unfortunately. Well, that's my only little point. If there isn't that you want to share with us beyond these questions? Well, no, I think I've been able to say, uh, and that shows you what, a, uh, s what the strength of the dialogue promoted by IID is, I've been able to say what I would like to say, uh, uh, so I really don't have anything to add, Fatih, uh, except to say my great gratitude 
to the young fellows in the IID for not only letting me go to Turkey uh, with, the, with the group, but getting to know these youngsters as individuals and so forth. And I will say, I do think that by a deepening of my um, understanding of Islamic people and Islam, it's really helped me to be a better Christian. Uh, and uh, uh, I've learned a lot. And I'm continuing to learn and look forward to learning more. So, If you gave a message to the world and to the Turkey and the people in the United States, what would you say? Only the truth can make you free. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.